So now we'll start into some of the changes that we made. So one of the first changes that we made was that you have to have this checklist step in order to do anything. So if I wanted to look at my data, I had to be able to go into a checklist step in order to launch that into TerraScan. And sometimes that was just to get a feel for what the data looked like. Maybe it was to create a, a macro um, that I was then going to import into GUQ and run against the project. But I always had to have a step that I could run that with. So a lot of people have ended up putting, you know, a run TerraScan step, uh, just an extra one in there they can play with or put a utility step in there. And so what, one of the things that we did is said, well, what if we just want to get to our data in a read-only mode? So we've added into the tools menu a run TerraScan step. The run TerraScan step is going to bring up a dialog that is similar to what you saw when I launched into the process TerraScan step, uh, a little bit different that it's tabulated across instead of everything being in one section. Um, but we've got all the same kind of options in here where I can load up my imagery, I can uh, you know, load into MicroStation, and basically because I'm going into a read-only, what I get to set is the design file I'm going into because I don't want to necessarily use the design file that's associated with my block because that design file is in read-only mode. Uh, in other words, uh, you know, I'm not recording my, myself doing anything in there, but I could potentially change something because of the fact that MicroStation and TerraScan uh, the only way that you can load TerraScan in there as a project is to have MicroStation as a writable DGN. So we can't lock that write access. So we don't necessarily want to change a project design file in this process. We have the ability to put in uh, your own standardized one or standalone one. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to include my neighbors and we're going to start up TerraScan. And what that's going to do is we're going to launch our MicroStation session again. We get this extra little dialog, and I'll go into what that is in detail later. Um, so I won't bother with that at the moment. And I'll just move these dialogs out of the way so you can see there we've launched back into our MicroStation. And just the same as before, we need to go in and set up our windows to however we want them configured to be able to work within the data set. What it's done is it's launched the entity that's in the center of my map view. Let me just turn off one of these dialogues here. So it's launched the entity that's in the center of my map view. And if I move my map you know, to a different entity, I'm on my 107 entity now. Because I'm on this drive terror scan center to, map, to, to the map center, what you're going to see is that has changed now. And my microstation is not on this new entity. Um, so you can see here, here's my particular location on that. And I'm now able to get into my data any way I want to get into it. I'm not launching any step. There's no step going into progress. I'm not recording what I'm doing here. But these are for those times when you just need particular information, when you want to review some information without actually launching a step or recording anything. And so it gives you that access to your data uh, that was a little bit more difficult in the past. And, and I can basically go around now to anywhere in this data set. And I'm just using my tracking view here to, to make it easier to pan and zoom around the project and you'll see that that's already there. And in fact, what's happening is typically before I even get myself switched over on the monitor to see that I'm into the next block. Um, you know, it's obviously a lot easier to do when you have multiple monitors. So I'm just showing you the single monitor at the moment. So the other thing we could do is we can take it off the drive to map center and set ourselves back up to look at you know, kind of a, an overview. And what I could do instead is I can drive TerraScan using an option called drive TerraScan to data point. So with that one, I'm able to just select on a block and it will take and switch over to that particular block that I'm working with. And that's the block that's loaded in now. And you can see that any of these blocks are loaded up. They're loaded up as read-only blocks in the project. And they're marked in that way so that TerraScan knows that, hey, I'm not going to let you save anything. So if I make changes to this particular block, I don't have any option to save the points. It always has to be saved out as something else because this is not intended to modify the data. We're not tracking any changes to the data in this case. So it's only if we needed to get in there, get some information, review uh, macros, whatever else we wanted to try to set up and kind of have in place before we start moving through the data set. 